You guys, are you looking for some good shows to binge now that certain quote unquote game show reached its finale? I'm gonna help you find the top 5 Amazon Prime originals you can stream right now. Amazon Prime Video is a growing streaming platform. With its affordable subscription rates and added Prime benefits, it is one of the hottest services you should subscribe right now. Prime's upcoming Lord of the Rings show is expected to hit us with its awesomeness by the year 2021. In the meantime, let's look at 5 spectacular shows that is currently streaming. Number 5 the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel This critically acclaimed Golden Globe winning show needs no introduction. It is a daunting yet charming tale of a 1950 American housewife who travels the road to be a stand-up comedian. This period piece comedy drama is full of, full of colorful characters and heartwarming moments. Created by Amy Sherman Palladino, Mrs. Maisel's first season bagged two prestigious Golden Globe titles, Best Musical or Comedy Television Series and Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy Series in 2017, which is no simple feat. Rachel Brosnahan, who plays the title character, is brilliantly cast as she portrays the moving yet charming character effortlessly. From cinematography to set design, the episodes are an absolute delight and a must watch. Number 4 American Gods Based on Neil Gaiman's popular novel of the same name, American Gods follow a recently released ex convict, Shadow Moon, and a mysterious Mr. Wednesday across America. On the way, Shadow witnesses a world full of magic and mystery where he is caught in between the brooding hatred between the old gods and the new gods. This beautifully crafted, beautifully acted series is created by Brian Fuller and Michael Green. The visuals and go are presented in such a way that we will have to admire it and turn our heads at the same time. Another highlight is the cast. It includes the talents such as Ricky Whittle, Emily Browning, Pablo Schreiber, Ian McShane and Gillian Anderson. The content is very dark and adult. I mean, it features a walking, rotting corpse for Pete's sake. If you have the heart for it, you must check it out. Number 3. Good Omens Good Omens is a mini-series created by Neil Gaiman and directed by Douglas McKinnon, based on a novel of the same name written by Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. The series tells the story of the angel Aziraphale and the demon Crowley, who have been on earth since the Garden of Eden, and must join forces in the present day due to a mishap relating to the Antichrist, and must run against the clock as the Armageddon is days away, and they must stop it. It is a hilarious show, and all the elements in it is guaranteed to make you laugh. The cast includes Michael Sheen, the brilliant David Tennant, John Hamm, and the fabulous Francis McDormand as the voice of God. If you are looking for a good laugh, this series is your answer. We have to work together. We have nothing whatsoever in common. I don't even like you. You do. Number 2. Gautamar Gibbons' Life on Normal Street Granted, this is a kids show, but never in the near past has a kids show has affected me emotionally as this show did. Created by David and Axagoras, this show gives exactly what has been promised in the title, but with a twist. Gautam Gibbons and his best friends Mel Fuller and Ranger Rowan are teenagers who live on Normal Street, but the everyday happenings in Normal Street is anything but normal. It is a clever show that relates the problems faced by teenage kids, emotional, 
family related, existential, you name it. And that's the story with the help of supernatural elements. And it is a thoroughly enjoyable show. The young cast, especially the main characters, Sloan Morgan Siegel, Ashley Butcher, and Drew Justice are very, very good. The supporting cast is also incredible. The satisfying thing about this series is it comes to a heartwarming end and we can all appreciate it. So, if your kid is in mood for a new show, or if you are, you should check out Gautama Gibbons' life on Northern Street. So now, our number one pick is Beloved progenitor murdered by your nemesis right in front of your tiny little boy face? Yeah. The world owes you a hug, small soldier. And I'm the one that's gonna give it. Uh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's it. This is the good stuff. The raw feed! I'm breaking a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just feel the hug. Okay. Let yourself be hugged. Uh, uh, but that's it. Hug me back. Yeah. The Tick Honestly, The Tick was the major reason I first subscribed to Amazon Prime Video. This series is created by Ben Edlund based on his own parody comic book superhero character of the same name. The Tick is a pleasant show depicting a world full of colorful superheroes and villains. Arthur, an ordinary office worker haunted by the events of his past, decides to become a superhero. But destiny intervenes and he meets a real superhero with super strength and nigh invulnerability, a big case of amnesia and a giant heart called the Tick. They forms an unlikely alliance and a special bond and embarks on awesome superheroics. This show is a play on many superhero tropes and comments heavily on social issues, but it never outright offends anyone. This is the good natured superhero show we need and will love. Each and every episode is hilarious and highly entertaining. Peter Serafinovitz, whom you know from Shaun of the Dead and Guardians of the Galaxy, plays the titular character. He is an absolute feast. To our senses. His physique, voice and posture all screams the tech. Griffin Newman plays Arthur Everest aka Arthur, the comparatively sanest person in the show. The genius writing of the series actually follows Arthur but tells the story of the tech. A whole lot of supporting characters are featured in this show including Valerie Curry as Dot Everest, Yara Martinez as Miss Lind, Scott Spicer as Overkill and Ankois Cho as Walter. You'll be delighted to know that the show features an AI-powered bot called Dangerbot, voiced by Alan Tudyk, which forms romantic feelings towards Arthur. No, the accountant lost it. What do you care anyway? Thought you weren't interested in my vendetta. I'm not. I've just been alone all day. Tried to call you on your helmet. You're not answering your helmet anymore? Took a hit. Transmitter shot. Stop it, Tickles! What is that? He calls himself the Tick. Jesus. Okay, Danger Boat. I need you to run a deep background on this giant blue freak. Yes, I'll do it, but please. Please. Scanning for face, voice Stop recognition. It, tickles. Stop it, tickles. Do you want me to Stop warm up some folks? No, I'm going out. You just got back. Crime has overtaken this city. There must be punishment. They're all animals anyway. It's time for the real rain to come and wash all this scum off the street. Travis Bickle. What? Taxi driver. Unfortunately though, the series was cancelled by Amazon after two seasons. Despite the positive reviews it received and the popularity but the fans and the cast and crew has started a hashtag save the tick campaign in the hopes of the show's renewal. Anyway, whatever may be the case, 
This is a show you must not miss. Falling opportunity. Tech. So, as soon as you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon, press that like button and comment what is your favorite Amazon Prime original is. Then go straight to Prime Video and watch all these shows. For more videos, stay tuned to this channel. This is a clueless binge watcher, your entertainment hub. I'm in love with the cocoa.